welcome 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 to today's live stream today's live stream today live stream today's live stream how's everyone doing all good all well smelling good smelling nice don't forget to get your water oh, i forgot my water hold on hold on wait <laughs> got my water right here got it got in the jug <laughs> You go some ASMR moments. Okay, that's the end of the water. More water. How's everyone doing? Is the light too bright? It feels like it's a little bit too bright. Hold on. Let's just... There we go. Making me look like I'm... I so pale. I so pale. Okay. Right. Okay. So the time is nigh, guys. The time is nigh. Winter is coming. And it's coming for us all. I am. Um, oh, just in the way. There we go. It's there. Yeah, winter is coming. <laughs> um, I will have an update for you guys by some point next week. Uh, very important update. Um, it's whether we carry on or not. It's to do with to do with that. Um. So, yeah. Hello, hello. Welcome to the live stream. Welcome to the live stream. Good to have you here. Cool. So today we are going to work on yesterday. So yesterday we started a poster design. Uh, not a poster design. We we have a client who runs a toddlers group, um, and they needed a flyer. However, their flyer didn't have. Uh, well, they, they didn't have any logos, they didn't have anything. So what we did is we had to start and make a logo for them. Now this is the version of the logo that we're using. Here it is, nice and pretty. A little rainbow, a little baby on the D. A little baby face, look at that. that this single little mouthpiece here took ages, but it's there. Um, yeah, so we spent some time doing this, getting this looking good, and today, well, and then we also went and did this. Okay, so the front of the flyer is going to be this. I'm not sure what other information we're going to have up here. Maybe, maybe the address, I think to clear up some space in the back and then some some stuff in the back now this is not good okay this design layout is awful everything is just kind of spread across the page nothing looks good there's no real hierarchy um uh, maybe here on the right there's kind of some hierarchy but again it's not it's not good at all okay and so i realized and i noticed my mistakes right I, I was like, hey, <laughs> I've made some mistakes. So so what I did was I went and watched a YouTube video, as most people would. <laughs> to fix the issues. Now, I've been struggling with my layouts and my layout design for ages, ages. This is something I've, I've been struggling with since I've done design layouts and stuff has always been kind of my weak my weak point and so that's something we're going to hopefully uh be able to solve today right that's something we're going to be able to solve today first things first we need to open up a new tab let's go new private window we're going to do this the old-fashioned style. I'm going to take you through the process of self-improvement. 
And this is what it will look like for a regular designer, a regular Joe Schmo, to make a good design, right? And first, it all begins with improvement. It all begins with improvement. Okay. Uh, let's see, which one should we pick? Should we go perfect layout, design step by step? Six rules, six golden rules of layout design. You must obey. Okay, let's do that one. Uh, let's do that one. Easy wheels. Okay. Before we do that, let's just make sure everything is coming through the system. We're going to have to reduce the volume on this real low. There we go. Fix graphic design tutorial. I'm going to teach you the golden rules of layout design so you can make professional and effective graphic designs. I want to do that. So welcome back to tutorial graphics. And in the Thanks. first golden rule for layout design, we're yeah. going to take a look at negative space, negative which is sometimes space. referred to as white space. Yeah. Now this simply is just the areas on your design that are not taken up by actual design assets or graphics. Okay. It can be used so like to separate this. sections no. of your design, this has no define space. certain areas, and also allow your design to have room to breathe. Now on I the agree. first design, I've made sure to make some common mistakes that designers do in Biocon. And that is to try and fill out the negative space as much as possible True. by scaling up my text at the bottom here. Also, I've used a logo of sorts to fill the top half. Yeah. Now, doing this makes the design appear too busy and unorganized. That's what I've done here, kind of. Having a clear separation allows the viewer to look at the design more comfortably and also obtain the information very, very easily. Okay. But let's take a deeper look at my revision. So firstly, the logo is neatly added in the top left and it doesn't fight for attention and overcrowd the design. Okay. The blue area is left with a lot of negative space, which does look neat and also organized. Below that, the text is still legible when printed out on an A4 document, yet there is a lot of space to the bottom right, which gives the design and the text some more room to breathe. Okay. Allowing your design to have negative space like this clearly creates areas for specific parts of your design and this makes the viewer feel more at ease when viewing your design and trying to True. gather the information from the design itself. Yeah. So finally, the design video? uses oh, negative okay. space to create the shapes going diagonally from the top right to the bottom left. Hmm. So be sure to pay mm. close attention to the Might negative space on your graphic designs just, just as much as the actual graphics themselves, diagonal. if not more so. Not horizontal though. Negative That's... space in logo designing is often strictly around optical illusions and creative logo designs. Finally, we're okay. now moving on to why proximity, proximity. is such an important aspect of layout design. And proximity basically suggests that design elements that are linked in some way or have a relationship should be grouped together. Aspects of your design that do not have a link or a relationship should not be linked together in most cases. Okay. When used correctly, proximity will structure your design as well as indicate to the viewer certain cues and information. Okay. So here is a landing page design, and firstly, you can see a clear divide from the left to the right. Yeah, true, true. The right section here basically has the illustrative artwork displaying context to the design itself. You will not find any key information or call to action buttons here. Aside okay. from the toolbar at the top, of course. Now on the left hand side, the title and the text content is grouped together in a neat manner, using good use of proximity. Now below that, there is a call to action which has its own space and is left alone, which True. basically frees it up to make it easier to be seen by the viewer and thus clicked. And finally, all of the social media icons are below in their own group. On this left hand side, we have three different groups that all use neat and valid proximity. 
Proximity and negative space do have a connection and both should be taken into account when designing something in terms of the layout. True. Building your online business? Oh. Wix.com. Now, repetition is a key aspect of not only layout design, but just graphic design in general. It helps the design have more continuous theme or look and feel. Repetition can be seen in things like the color scheme used throughout your design or the use of similar shapes and graphics. Okay. In this yeah. example, color scheme. I don't think I have initial repetition. In nature, repetition phase the same use of design. The next golden rule for layout design contrast. is contrast. And this is something mm. I've mentioned before on this channel, but let's take a quick look to reaffirm the understanding and the importance of it. Contrast simply refers to two design elements or aspects that are different in appearance and nature. To create contrast, you can experiment with color, typeface, shape and size. Contrast is very useful for creating a focal point as well as giving objects greater visual weight and balancing the image. Photography at the very top. Now I have the word Satori in a thicker version of the typeface as opposed to the type saying graphics. This creates okay. interest in the visual aspect of the title. Graphic. Yeah, yeah, contrast. And, contrast. and the next use of contrast is the bottom text here. And this is where the use of red and black is seen, which are two contrasting colors as well as again having different thicknesses in the typography itself. And in terms of shape, the circular icons at the bottom are a contrast to the straight edge line shapes that are found elsewhere in the design, giving them intrigue and a chance to stand out to the viewer. The actual image in the middle of the design is slanted on a tilt, which is a stark contrast to the level straight lines that are horizontal and found throughout the rest of the design. And of course, finally, the entire design utilizes a very contrasting color scheme of black and red, and also white thrown into the mix. Contrast is a great way to create interest and intrigue on your designs, but also it grabs attention and it directs the viewer's eye onto certain aspects of your design. Now the penultimate golden rule for layout design is alignment. In graphic design, we should always be mindful of alignment. If it's for text, for imagery, or design elements, rookie mistake of neglecting alignment. Text in the central focal point. Now you can draw a vertical line and see that this text is centered properly. Now next to the bottom, the text information is situated neatly along a horizontal design neat and visually appealing things so that the linear graphic in the background now levels up to these text contents on the sides in the background left and the right and visually appealing now also running up the left and the right now make okay. as long as the majority and well easy wheels started as my oh. college project um okay with all that new information that we now have let us rearrange and work on this. Now, first things first, I do think it needs a sentence. It needs a big boy sentence. So if we go back to the client, let's see. Um, where is it? There we go. We we'll go back to the information to send us. Um, we are a friendly group that uses this time to meet new friends, kids, socialization, and have fun together. Parents and carers can have a good time to, uh, to while drinking a cup of tea. Okay, I personally think that's a bit too much information. Okay, first things first. First, th first, let's make this disappear. Okay, Rick, you might be thinking that's bold, right? Yeah, kind of, kind of bold. So what we're going to do is today, is, it's feeling a bit slow today, actually, the computer.
I wonder, I wonder if it's because of this, hold on. No other apps are open. Yeah, today's just feeling a bit slow. Let's get the task manager out real quick. Performance. CPU's doing fine. Memory's doing fine. Wi-Fi's fine. Oh. IPV, oh, that. Can you DDoS me on this one? <laughs> Wait. The internet uses ports as well as IP address. Okay. 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 You need to be in the network for that one. Uh, I don't know about the six, but anyway, let's just let's just not keep showing you that. <laughs> but yeah, everything's fine. Everything should be fine. My GPU is fine. My other GPU is also fine. It's just feeling a bit slow today. It's just feeling a bit sluggish. Anyway. Anyway. So I think the first thing we need to do is create some more space in this area. Let's just create some more space. didn't work. I thought it would work. Let's bring that. Yeah. Initial thought was actually instead of doing this, maybe bring it like have them overlap a little bit, so that way it come it, you get more space out of it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Let's move that towards the bottom. And yeah, that way. And cross could be here. Just make them, make them disappear. Like there. I don't know why snacks and comes out of a baby, I'll be honest. But it's the only picture we have at the moment. We need pictures from the client. We don't have that yet, so. Okay, if we... the pictures line up there
Gonna make it slightly bigger. There you go. Okay. Now it's breathing a bit more. See what I mean? You know what I mean? You see what I mean? I do think it can. Info. If we shrink them a little bit. Does this work? And then we just adjust it. Okay, keep it there for now. And then we need a big heading. Um, a big old heading. Uh, let's see what can kind of be there a little catchphrase heading we're a friendly group that uses this time to meet new friends socialization meet new friends and have fun together it's time to meet new friends that makes it sound like they're lonely meet new friends how about that as a as a little as a little hey look at me kind of thing hmm. move all this down just out of the way let's meet new friends um the color would need to be something else it's a green in fact no i like the blue better it kind of stands out a bit more Let's meet new friends. Um, L. Oh. What is going on? What is going on? Okay. This left aligned. Okay. Maybe this. Maybe some text. Um, left aligned. What was the description? I don't, use, I don't want to use the word friendly again, but uh, we're a friendly group that uses this time to meet new friends, kids socialize and have fun together.
do that. Uh, will that be too small for people to read if I do it this? Maybe. Yeah, today my computer is struggling. It is struggling. I don't want to shrink it anymore. I don't want to make it smaller. But I'm struggling to kind of fit them in. And this is going to be A5. It might be quite small to begin with. Hmm. Okay. I have an idea. Group. Let's duplicate this one just in case. And then move them up here. So what we can do is my hands are actually like I don't know what's going on today. Today I'm just oh wow. What is going on? I mean, toys. Question is, will it fit? Ories. Oh, wait, what? Just kind of disappeared for no reason okay there's your answer it does not fit um solution bring this over a little bit like this and then we might have some more group more more space here it aligned to that there and then these pictures could be slightly bigger or something check this at the bottom this here up there and then squeeze this in here and then this little dude can go here there and then we'll throw it and then bring down the snack it's like here maybe hmm 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 interesting very interesting
Okay. Um, okay, let's let's uh, not focus on that for now. Let's bring this here. And maybe bring down the size a tad bit. Maybe bring it down to like 14. I just felt like it was a bit too dominating. And then just create some space underneath it. There we go. Okay. Next. Um, we need this info section to be tidied up a little bit. Um, this is still bugging me a little bit. And I can't just like do this. You know what I mean? I can't just make it go all the way to the left. There's no point in that. Um, Rawr. 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 <laughs> Let's let us see what we can see. Yo. Hmm. Can we... We need to leave that empty space. Mm. We can fill the this gap here with some, like, little nodules, little, little icon things. That'll be fine. Um... Okay, let's fix this. Okay, first things first. We need it all marginalized, but not in that way. I don't. I don't mean to marginalize a. Uh, okay, I'll stop talking now. That's already left aligned. This is what size? 39. I do think it needs to be smaller. Um, in fact, maybe just have it this font rather than Gil Sands. If I make it brown, it's probably just going to look like... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's having the address in the front. Okay. Maybe we can put the toddler's group 
Maybe we can chuck it in here. A bit of text never never hurt no one. Am I right? A bit of text never hurt nobody. I don't know what that accent is, by the way. Forgive me. Center alignment. So that way, this can come down to like there. And then space this out a little bit better. There you go. Okay, that's, that is getting there. It's getting there. It's slowly getting there. It's slowly getting there. That's the thing about layout design and graphics design it's just iteration after iteration i think it takes is very time consuming just making sure i don't have any messages no no let's get to work come on come on lads come on come on <laughs> How do we do this? How do we do this? Is it just a case of shrinking the font to let's say a 36? Uh, no, not a 30, because that's... What says this? 28. Okay, so this needs to be at least like a 30, 30, 34. Crikey. <laughs> uh, 34 mm, barely fits. If we move this in, it gets a bit too tight. And then everything's it gets a little bit too tight. So instead, let's do this. A bit more. Okay. This feels slightly disconnected, so let's just bring that up together. We are a friendly group that uses this time to have fun together. And don't worry, parents can have fun time can have a fun time too. Okay, instead of using the word fun. Great. And don't worry, uh, rather than a new sentence, let's... We're a friendly group that uses this time. Okay. That likes to have fun. Loves to have fun together. And don't worry, parents can have a great time too. Yeah. Line on that one. Okay. Um, all right, cool. And then we need to add some decorations. Just gonna fill in the void. This one, I'll put it this one. this let him cook uh, wait where's this star in front of the baby info
I like that. I like the little star next to the info. Okay, cool. Um, bring these babies up. Okay, right. Before I call this, actually, let's just save. Before I declare this a actual version, I'm going to go to Behance to see if I can get any other inspirations. Uh, flyer design. We're just going to look at flyer design. Now, I know Behance, it tends to be a lot of contemporary, well, not contemporary, but a lot more so stuff like this. Do you know what I mean? Stuff like this, where it's like this. I can't use any of this information to make a flyer. They tend to stick to the side of... Yeah. So we're just gonna... Let's see. Okay. Could we... Maybe stick the logo up here? In small? A real tiny... Get it aligned to the, to the text and then bring it down and get it aligned to the top of that. Like that. This needs to come up. Actually, I feel like it needs to be centered up here. There you go. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. It still feels like it needs, it's lacking something. And adding texture, I don't think is going to be the savior. I won't lie. I don't think texture is going to do it here. Try it anyway. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it is. What it is. Let's look at Behance again. Let's see what what else we can we can do. Why have I always struggled for layout design? It's it's the absolute worst. I I I actually I'm so bad at it. I think it's so hard. I genuinely do. I think I might just go on a course one day just to study it because this is it's it's hard, man. The last gaff. Gaoff. <laughs> Jaoffi. Okay. It's in Portuguese, it's Brazilian. Oh, that's a fun idea. Hold on. What if I make this? I make this. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay, no, that's not that does not have the same impact as I thought it did. Okay. Ooh. Okay, never mind. What else? Come on. Just grab just Anything. Oh, I like this. What is this? Oh, that's cool. Anyway. Oh, that's really cool. So, how do they do it? Okay. Oh, 
That's really cool. Okay, but let's look at your layout. There we go. Boom. Big text and then... Okay. Right. And then you have... Okay, but that's their whole theme. So big text on the left. Like boom, 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 boom. And then text. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can maybe do that with this. Okay, wait, hold on. Okay. 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 Get rid no, I need that. I need to get rid of the images for now. Thanks. Okay. Goodbye. What is this group? Oh, it's just the text. What is that? Label, label your layers, guys. Come on. Titles. That's an info one. Okay. This is icons. Put that there. Okay, cool. What if? What if? Right. And we'll just control Z if it doesn't work out. We'll control Z all of that if it doesn't work out. So for the icon, for this, right, we'll do a... Ah. Uh, we we'll do a... Like this. Like this. Like this. And then for this one, we bring it over, but then shrink it down to like there. Um, and then slightly increase line height. What do you think? How about, what if it's like here? You know what I mean? Like, what if it's there on the divide? I don't know, okay. I don't know, I don't know, oh. Hey, layouts. Can the titles be at the bottom? You got to think of what's the what's the hierarchy? What do I want people to look at first? You know what I mean? First is there, then read, look at the pictures, then go down to info. So I guess this isn't really necessary. So I could have it at the bottom. So let's make the pictures. Let's make them appear again. And then just bring them up. Here. But then it's too full now. So I uh, maybe have it towards the bottom. So this is. And then just to spice things up, you add the icons.
Oh, come on. Come on, little star. How about this? Yeah. Jeez Louise. I think that's slightly better. Gosh. Gosh. Layout design is so freaking hard. I'm gonna have like a 10, 10 minute break. I need to um, make a short phone call and also just get a mental break from staring at this for a minute. Okay, cool. So uh, I'll be right back and I'll see you guys in a bit.